top three tips for beginners to become a better slingshot shooter. Um, these are three things that I think are the most important to become a better shot. I'm also going to be starting like a beginner series playlist. So if you're just learning and you want to check out some good informational videos, I'll have a link in the description to a good playlist of all my videos for your beginners. Uh, first off, we're using a beginner slingshot. Link over here if you want to see how we made that. And the first thing that you need to practice is consistency. Ultimately, consistency back here is going to end up in consistency on the target. So that means keeping the same anchor point, shooting the same every time, uh, same stance. Basically, the more things you keep the same and the more things you repeat, it's going to be better for your accuracy. That even goes for the same setup that you're using. Uh, that's one of my issues is I'm always experimenting with different bands and different slingshots. So I never get like 100% accurate because I'm always trying new things. But if you if I were to keep this slingshot and only shoot with this thing for a while, uh, I would become really accurate with it. That's another thing, you don't need an expensive slingshot, you just need to shoot it a lot and get comfortable with it. So my anchor point, under my cheekbone, uh, I barely touch my nose with my thumb and then I have my finger in the corner of my mouth, like that. Oh, and you need a clean release too, that's a big thing. You don't want to grip the pouch like this because that'll make the ball like flip up that's where a lot of fork kits come from. Just a clean release like this, only pinching the ball. That is going to be best. If you just keep that anchor point, every single shot, that's gonna be one of the biggest things for accuracy. Also, the way you hold it, I kinda like to choke up on it a little bit. I use like a thumb brace kind of thing. It's always like this. There's consistency. And how do you know you're consistently using the same form and everything? Uh, you can set up a camera and do like 20 shots. And if every single shot looks the same, you're probably pretty consistent. Next thing, and this is a big one. If you find yourself hitting all around the target and you're hitting everything except the target, it means you're not focusing on the middle. So if I was to aim small, miss small, I want to hit this target, I want to hit the middle of this target, the D, and then I want to hit the, the very middle circle right there. And I would just narrow it down until I see that little tiny circle. Even if you can't see it, you just imagine that it's there. And you only focus on that little point and you'll shot, your shots will become more in the middle and not all out here. And they'll just slowly start getting dead center. So once again, I'm just going to look at the target, look at the middle. And this works for anything. If you're hunting, I just say, okay, I want to hit the head, I want to hit the eyeball, I want to hit the pupil. So you just kind of narrow it down until it's as small as you can go. I literally hit it in the most center you can because I was focusing on that the tiniest little circle. Okay, so here's that last target that we just exploded. And if you take a new target, put that over it, and we'll hit right in the center. So. You just gotta look at the smaller picture, not the bigger picture, in this case. And if you don't hit the middle, and you're still focusing on the middle, the area that you miss will become smaller, and you'll still hit your target. Even when I'm going for cans, I'll just like pick a letter on the can, whatever. Just try to focus as zoomed in as possible. There's a quarter right here. I'm gonna focus on the head of the quarter gone. Last but not least, fun targets. These are probably my favorite Daisy Shatter Blast clay targets. Uh, these are fun. You can set them up anywhere. I normally have a handful of them when I go into the woods. You can just, and they're biodegradable, so shoot them. You don't have to clean them up. They're clay. They disintegrate. So yeah, these are my favorite. Fun targets, top three. Well, basically anything that explodes sounds cool and is loud those are the fun ones or has a satisfying noise these are fun because they explode and they sound cool you can just shoot at spinners in a catch box all day but i found that it to get better i i get better when i'm shooting at fun targets that do something and not just spin yeah that's a big one for me is fun targets cans are great these things are great um, I used to shoot at little firecracker things that exploded. 
Uh, probably shouldn't have done that in my neighborhood, but it was really fun. Yeah, I don't do that anymore because my neighbors probably thought I was shooting something I shouldn't have been. Um, but they're on Amazon. I don't remember how much they are, but they're cheap for 60 of them. And they're probably my favorite targets. Let's just shoot them already. Spoons. These are awesome. You can just stick them in the ground. They're like knockdown targets. They sound really awesome. I always have these and clays in my bag. Back at 20 yards now. We're gonna take all the tips that we've learned, put it into practice. Nope. It's just so fun when they disappear. Last shot, 20 yards, shot our last target right here. That's it for today's video. Once again, consistency back here is going to lead to consistency on the target. Yeah, just keep your same anchor points. Everything that you keep the same is going to be best. Really focusing in on your target. Want to hit it, want to hit the middle, want to hit that middle, and want to hit that middle. So just really focusing in, putting all your attention into this target and exploding it and last but not least shooting at fun targets that'll just keep you out shooting um hitting stuff those are the things that three things that i found that have made me a better shooter once again i'll have a link to the beginners playlist in the description i'll just keep adding videos to that thing yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully these tips help you become a better shooter and we'll see you in the next video bye